these are the four key issue comics that I will be sending out to get graded this month. If you want to know what they are, well, just stick around and you'll find out. Go, go subscribe to We Love Comics. We love, and we do, we love comics. This video is sponsored by PGX Grading Services. Get one free pressing of your choice when you grade 10 with the code We Love Comics Free Press. Link in description. Hello, my power viewers, ultra power viewers, and everybody in between. My name is Chris, and this is my channel, We Love Comics. And today I'm going to show the four Grail comics that I'm going to be sending out to get graded this month by my sponsor, PGX. Uh, just to make sure everybody knows, especially if you're new, I do not get paid by them. What I did was I originally contacted all three companies, CGC, CBCS, and PGX, and asked them if I did a little bit of an advertisement, could I get a couple of discounted or free comics graded? The only one that ended up replying was PGX. So they were willing to allow me to give four comics to them where they will press them, they will dry clean them, they will do signature verification, they will even uh, grade any grade age of comic, anywhere from modern day to golden age, and I give them a little 10, cent, 10 second ad that you see in the beginning of this video. What I also did was I wanted to make sure I could make a deal for you guys as well, so if you look in the description, there's a code that if you send 10 comics to PGX, if you want to, um, you can get one of them pressed for free if you use the code We Love Comics Free Press. So make sure you add that if you do. So I have four key comics this month, and I always do a live unboxing when I get them back. Usually takes anywhere from a month, month and a half. And uh, I always tell what I paid, what I predict the grades will be. And then when we open them about a month, month and a half later, I won't know the grades until you do. So hopefully you'll stick around and check the live shows when they come out. So without further ado, let me show the four comics. And don't forget to wait until the end to see who's today's surprise subscriber shout out. If you want to be one, all you have to do is be a subscriber. So here we go. The first one, this is a book that I, I absolutely found as a steal. Um, that was just listed, and that's why I tell people all the time, make sure you check just listed comics, because you never know. Sometimes there are people that will sell comics at such a amazingly low price, no pun intended, that um, some people probably just sell them because they know if they sell them cheap, they can make money right away, and maybe they don't want to wait seven days, or maybe it doesn't sell. So this one was a steal. I saw it within 10 seconds of it uploading, and you got to act quick. And that's why it helps to know the value of comics and the um, significance of comics. So this is Amazing Spider-Man number 129. This is the first appearance of the Jackal and the Punisher. Um, this one's kind of cooling down just a little bit right now because of Netflix's cancellation of the TV show. But that's not going to make this comic worthless at all because that's such an iconic and key character. It's just a matter of time before he gets another chance. And when he does, these books are going to see another rise but, I mean, that's with any kind of speculation. You're going to see little dips and peaks and valleys. You always want to buy at the little bit of the valley. But this one, no matter, this could come back as 0.5, and I will have made out because I paid a total of $189 for this book. And I got this only about a month or two ago. So this is not something I bought 20 years ago. And um, that's including shipping and handling. So, as always, I make sure when I grade a book, I don't do what 90% of the people do and look at the front cover and say, oh, this is a 6.0. I have to look inside the book, make sure all the pages are there, make sure there are no coupons cut out. Because if you just grade a book by looking at the cover, then uh, you're not grading a book properly. So I looked inside the book and um, I predict roughly about a 4.0 to a 5.0. Um, all of these are going to be breast and pressed and dry clean. The only major defect is there's a little quarter of an inch tear right there and um it could definitely benefit from a dry cleaning because there's a couple of creases here but they do not break color except for this one tiny one you probably won't be able to see not even a maybe a millimeter long the corners are a little bit rounded but not major this one you could see it looks like somebody dropped it at one point it got squished a little bit but a pressing will help that a little but overall this is not going to be a majorly high grade but it's still going to be around a mid-grade comic, and especially for the price, I cannot complain. So I am predicting this comic is going to come back roughly between a 4.0 and a 5.0 with off-white to white pages. So like I said, this could come back a 0.5, and I will have definitely made out. So that's why I always tell people, make sure you check the Buy It Nows, because most of these, you're going to see that. 
And this is another one. Uh, this book I will buy all day, every day when I see it for the right price. This is a book that is a must-have in my opinion. It is definitely something I've been telling people since 2016 to get. This is like my fifth or sixth copy. And that is Fantastic Four, issue number 48, which is the first full appearance of the Silver Surfer and the first cameo appearance of Galactus. This is a must-have book in my opinion. Um... For those of you, especially if you're new, if you ask, well, why do I have so many copies? The reason I get extra copies is if I ever want to do a trade or if I ever want to sell a book, because, you know, I do the, um, I sell the mystery boxes. So the comics that I sell are duplicates. Well, if you sell or trade duplicates, you can still own at least one of them. So you can trade a key issue to get something else. Like if I, let's say I traded these two. For maybe a Hulk 181, for example, or for some other book I haven't had. Well, because I have extras of these, I don't end up no longer owning them. And that's why a lot of people sometimes are hesitant to trade a book, especially a book that they love. Because you only have one of them and you trade it, now you don't own it. But if I have four or five copies of this book, and I could trade three or four of them and still have one. So that is why I get extra and one of the reasons why I recommend people get them if they can. So... I paid a total of $491.55 for this book. It is a lower grade book. It has a color break increase here, a color break increase here. You can see there's probably tape that got peeled off here. There's a little bit of fading right here, a piece missing right there, but not a major piece. It doesn't go all the way through, just the top layer. And there's some color break increases along the spine and along the top. So this is by all means a lower grade book. But to me, like I've said, and say it with me, Low grade is better than no grade. It always depends on the price that you pay for them. And sometimes the lower grades are easier to turn around if you want to sell them because the cheaper prices will make it more affordable for more people. So would I love a 9.8? Absolutely. Do I have $35,000, $40,000 right now? No, I do not. So I take what I can get. So four ninety one fifty five. I'm predicting roughly about a two point to a three point Like I said, a little a little bit lower grade, but most of the damage in this book is just the front cover. The back cover looks great. Inside looks great. Um, looks like about off white pages. So we'll see how that comes out in about a month, month and a half. Uh, this is another one where I tell people it pays to do your research and know what you're talking about because you can end up finding steals that you didn't know existed. This is a book I, I bought roughly about a month, month and a half ago. Uh, this is Batman number 59 from the Golden Age, 1950. This is the first appearance ever of Deadshot, who looks nothing like the modern day Deadshot because the old Deadshot basically is a magician with a top hat that happens to own a gun. Uh, definitely changed him for the better, but this is still his first appearance. Now, when I bought this book, I realized that there were three staples in it. Now, every now and then, there are books that have three staples. This was not one of those books. So they were originally selling this for like $900. I originally said, when I um, saw the auction, I'd, I'd pay $600. And they said yes. And then, because they kind of cropped it a little bit, it wasn't until I was able to expand it that I noticed the three staples. So they made it so you couldn't see it really easy, and they didn't put it in the description. So when I mentioned that... I said, all right, it has three staples it's not supposed to. They even knew about it. I guess maybe they tried to get away with it. I cannot guarantee that's what they did, nor do I care. But I said, you know what, I'll give you 350 and they accepted it. Because what I learned is, because I researched the value, even at a 0 0.5, this book is worth $350. So it was worth taking the chance on. And what I was going to do was remove those three staples and just get it graded as a book without staples. What did I find? Well, I ended up finding out that the original two staples were still in the book. But because somebody at some point put the three staples roughly around this far in, it blocked the ability to see the original two staples were there. So this ends up being a much higher grade than what I originally thought it was. And the seller did not, not take the time to actually do that themselves. So this is why I tell people it pays to know what you're buying. I cannot stress that enough. So I paid with shipping and handling $350 for a key Golden Age book. Now, they are going to be redoing, they're basically the saying they're rebooting the Suicide Squad, and there is going to be another version, I believe, of Deadshot, played by another character. I forget the guy's name. I think it's the guy that played Hemdahl for Thor. Correct me if I'm wrong about that. 
but this character's still going to be relevant, and if he is in that next movie, that is going to create a buzz again, which will bring this to a higher value than what it currently is right now, because a lot of times I tell people, you base speculation, if you are doing it for speculation, based on the fact that you are worried about the future, not the present or the past. And I already had a, a, a version of this book, but it was coverless. Because I don't mind buying a coverless book, because I love comics regardless. Now I have one with a cover, so if I ever want to trade the coverless one, I still can. So I'm going to predict now it's going to be a roughly about a 2.5 to a 3.5, because the inside looks pretty darn good. And uh, off-white pages, which is not bad at all for a book from 1950. And one of the things I always tell people when you send a book to get graded, I oh, this one, the cover is barely hanging on. So I made sure I put in tape. I wrote down, barely hanging on, please handle with care. Because remember, somebody else isn't going to take care of your book the same way you will. And if they didn't know about it and they just took the book out and they weren't as careful as you would be and they pulled the spa staples away from the book, well, you're the one that gets penalized. And then I also wrote on it, please press and dry clean. I put that on all of them. And also this has, and I didn't know about this until I did the research, this also has a Joker appearance. So, you know, another bonus for this book. So I am looking forward to seeing what that comes back as. But again, even if it come bu comes back a 0.5, I paid exactly what the 0.5 price is. But I think it's definitely going to go because of the fact that the staples are still there. Even without staples, you can get a 2.0 and a 3.0. All right, last but not least, this is my fourth copy of this book. This is another book I highly recommend people get, even at a 0.5, because this book has not even come close to seeing its full potential yet. There are already rumors going around about casting this character. You've seen this book if you saw my other video about uh, two weeks ago. This is my fourth copy of Hulk 181. This came in a package deal with another comic that's basically worth about $9, so I don't know what they were thinking. But the way they titled the auction, most people probably missed this opportunity to buy this book. But because I spend a lot of time on eBay doing research and spending the time it takes to find stuff... I will find these gold mines. So this was a just listed um, book. I paid $1,160 for this book. It does have the Marvel stamp. I made sure I checked. If you don't know what a Marvel stamp is, I have a video in my tips and advice section. Please check that out. It'll give the information about that. But this book, also with Hulk 180, if the Marvel stamps are missing, this book, if graded, will come back qualified. So you would absolutely want to check if you have those two books to make sure that stamp is in there. And again, if you don't know what that is, check out the video in my playlist under tips and advice under Marvel stamps. So I paid, like I said, $1,160. I'm going to predict because uh, it definitely needs a pressing and dry cleaning because it does have a rolled spine. So pressing can help that. Um, how much it depends on how good the staples are because you don't want to pop the staples. But it does have color breaking spine creases along here. Uh, dry cleaning will help the back of this book as well. So if they can, and this one's going to be hard to grade because it really depends on how well they can get this spine flattened because you can't do anything about color break increases but with this little indent and everything and with the little bit of the um the um problem here with the curvature if they could flatten that out it's definitely going to increase the grade how much depends on what they can do so it's going to be harder to predict this one so i'm going to keep it on the lower end and say roughly between a 2.5 to a 3.5 pages are beautiful off white to white pages so most of the damage is done in the front. And a lot of this stuff is because somebody probably read it and loved it multiple times. And I'm okay with that. So this is a book. I mean, there are already, there are already rumors about who's going to be playing the next Wolverine. They're saying you won't see him for another five years. I would be shocked if Marvel does that because that's a cash cow. Wolverine, is a, like Deadpool, is going to be an automatic cash cow. Why they would sit on it for five years, um, to me, that just doesn't make sense. You know, plenty of people, even Marvel themselves will say, oh, that's the case. Don't believe what corporations say, because a lot of times if contracts aren't so signed yet, they legally are not allowed to say anything up until the time it gets sent. Because remember, they were denying up till the day of the signature for Spider-Man that Spider-Man was coming back to the MCU with the agreement with Sony. So you always got to you got to think like a business. Don't think like an emotional comic collector when it comes to these things. If they are trying to find a, a person to play this character. They cannot announce anything officially up until the moment the signatures have been signed on the contracts. Because 
the reason they can't is let's say they are going to get somebody that's going to absolutely make people incredibly happy. What's going to happen to the stock of Marvel? It's going to start going up based on the rumor. Now, what happens if that rumor was basically leaked out before contracts were signed and the person ends up changing their mind or it doesn't come through and it doesn't happen? What do you think is going to happen to the stocks then? They're going to plummet. So legally, they are not allowed to talk about something until signatures have been completed on all contracts. So they basically will lie to you up until that point. So just keep that in mind. Don't always believe everything that you hear, even if it's from the CEOs of the Disney Corporation. And that's why. So you got to know about contracts and things like that. I mean, you know, I love comics, but I also know a little bit about law. I did a lot of research about contract law. So I understand why they do what they do. They're not lying to be deceitful. It's just because they're not legally they are not legally allowed until a contract is signed. So I doubt, and I could be wrong, but I doubt it's going to be five years before you see Wolverine. It just doesn't make any financial success, uh, sense unless they can't get the contracts done. That's a different story. So those are the four books. Incredible Hulk 181, Batman 59, Golden Age, Fantastic Four, 48, First Silver Surfer, First Cameo, Galactus, and my steal of the year so far, Amazing Spider-Man number 129, First Appearance of the Punisher. These are about to be sent out, so by the time you watch this video, they'll probably already be in the mail. Uh, don't forget to wait until the end to see who's today's surprise subscriber shout-out. Please hit the thumbs-up button. It does help my channel, so if you appreciate what I do, that's a good way to show support. Hit the share button if you want other people outside of the We Love Comics family to see these videos. Don't forget to tell people in the comment section that you are a power viewer. If you are, that means you watch a video from beginning to end. No cheating, no skipping. And if you're an ultra power viewer of mine, you are a person that every video you've seen, you watch from beginning to end. So thanks for watching. Have a great day. Happy collecting. Don't forget to wait for deals. Don't forget to wait for make deals. And don't forget, it's not you. It's not I. It's We Love Comics. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next video. Thank you for watching my video. If you would like to sign up for the cash back program and get $10 back if you spend $25 or more within the first 90 days, just click on this link right here. If you're interested in any of my Marvel mystery boxes, you can click this link and just go all the way to the bottom and you can order right there. If you'd like to join my Patreon account, it's right here. Facebook is right here. And mycomicshop.com if you'd like to order some comics from their store. Now, on to the surprise subscriber shout out.